Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Many students find multiple choice questions one of the most difficult of all the question types in the listening test, but as long as you have a good strategy for answering them, you'll be able to do so successfully. That's what this lesson will teach you. The lesson includes the two question types, sample questions, the strategy, a practice question, the answers, and some help with vocabulary. In multiple choice questions, you're required to choose the correct answer from a list of options. There are two main types of question. First, there are single questions with a choice of three answers, A, B or C. Occasionally, there may be four options. Second, there are list questions. These have a longer list of possible answers and you must select more than one as specified in the instructions. Here are examples of both types of multiple choice questions from a past paper. In this case, they happen to appear together, but this is not common. Pause the video and study them for a moment. Read the instructions very carefully. The first set of questions, 11 and 12 and 13 and 14, are list questions. You must choose two answers from answer options A to E for each pair of questions. The second set of questions, 15, 16 and 17, are single questions with three possible answers. You must choose one answer for each from the answers A, B or C. Now for the strategy for answering multiple choice questions, including lots of tips and advice on how to overcome the challenges presented by this type of question. First, here's the sample question we'll be working on. It's a simple version of an IELTS multiple choice question and has been created specifically to teach you the strategy. Pause the video and read through it. You'll have a short time to prepare before the speaker or speakers begin talking. Start by reading the question very carefully to ensure that you know exactly what you have to do. Particularly note the type of question. Is it a single question with three options or a list question with two or more answers to identify? For our sample question, we must choose three answers. With this sort of question, underline or circle the three to remind you. Next, look for a title. Not every question will have a title, but if there is one, it will tell you the context of the question. This will help you to understand the answers listed and give you a big clue as to what sort of information will be contained in the recording. Our sample question has the title Spa Day. Knowing this context gives some collective meaning to the words in the list of possible answers, which would otherwise appear random and unrelated. Step 3 is to underline or highlight the key word in the question. In this question, it's recommended. What three items are you recommended to take with you to the spa? So the question is telling us that we must select three items that the speaker will recommend that we take with us on the spa day, that is, things we should take. However, don't expect the word recommend to be used throughout the recording. The speaker isn't going to say, I recommend that you take a towel and I recommend that you wear a watch. Synonyms and paraphrasing will be used extensively. So think of some words that might be used instead of recommend, including negatives for things that you should not take. For example, you must or you mustn't. It's advisable. You should or you shouldn't. I'll give you more examples in the answers at the end of the lesson. Step four is to try and predict the answers. Look at the list. You'll probably be able to predict several items that are correct and a couple that are most likely wrong. Pause the video and try this now. Which items do you think you'd be recommended to take to a spa and which are you unlikely to be asked to take with you? Expect to hear all the answer options in the recording, not just the correct answers. You'll have to listen very carefully to determine if each item is or is not recommended. Synonyms will definitely be used for some of the words, 
So scan the list and see if you can quickly think of any synonyms or related words. An example might be some specific items of fruit for answer C instead of the word fruit. So you're not looking for the exact words but the same meaning. Also be aware that the answers will not be in the same order as you'll hear them in the recording. In single questions with a choice of three or four answers, the answers may be similar in some way to try and catch you out. If this is the case, underline any key words that will help you to work out the difference in meaning between them. An example for our question might be, you must take a towel, you can borrow a towel, a towel will be provided. We already know that all the answers in the list will probably be included in the text, so you need to listen carefully to identify the correct ones. Particularly listen out for distractors, as the examiners love to try and trick you into picking the wrong answers. The way they do this is to give you an answer and then take it away again. Here are some sentences containing distractors. I've highlighted the relevant words. I always recommend taking a pack lunch, but the spa are providing complimentary refreshments for your visit, so you don't need to. The coach will be returning to the hotel at 5.30. No, sorry, we've changed that to 6 o'clock to avoid the worst of the rush hour traffic. I don't usually advise taking any money, as everything is included. However, they have a home pamper kit promotion on at the moment, so you might like to treat yourself. So a distractor is a word or phrase that changes or corrects the original piece of information given. There will almost certainly be some in the recording, so beware. The best approach to marking the correct answers is to put a tick beside an answer you think is correct, but continue to listen carefully in case you find that it's wrong after all. If it is, you can quickly change the tick to a cross and eliminate the answer from further consideration. You can write on your test paper as much as you want to. You'll have 10 minutes at the end of the listening test to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. In multiple choice questions, the answer will almost always be the letter of the answer, not the word. This will be stated in the instructions. For example, choose three letters, A to H. So, if one of the correct answers is A, money, you must write A for your answer and not money. If you do write money, your answer will be marked wrong, even though the information is correct. My final tip is to never leave a blank space on the answer sheet. If you miss an answer, take an educated guess. This gives you at least some chance of getting it right. Don't stress about a missed answer or it will affect your ability to answer the next set of questions. Just make your choice and move on. It's now time for you to practice using this strategy on our sample question. Here it is again. The script I'm going to read out is a hotel manager talking to a group of guests about the spa day excursion they booked for the following day. Listen to this text and answer the question. When you've completed the practice activity, we'll go through the answers one at a time. Thank you for booking the luxury spa day. We'll be leaving the hotel at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. But this evening I just want to run through a few things to ensure that you're well prepared and have a wonderful time. First, towels and bathrobes are provided, so you won't need to take them with you. You're welcome to wear the slippers from your room while you're there, but a pair will be provided when you arrive. As you'll be enjoying a glass of bubbly in the jacuzzi, a bathing suit is a must. Jewellery is not advisable, so leave your valuables, including your watch, in the hotel safe. Everything is included in the price you've already paid, so no cash and credit cards will be required. You'll be given a light, nutritious lunch, so you don't need to worry about food. However, I do recommend popping an apple, banana or some grapes in your bag as a healthy snack in case you feel hungry during the afternoon. I also suggest that you take a book to read, 
but that's up to you. The spa staff advise clients not to apply cosmetics after treatments, so I suggest leaving your lip gloss and eyeliner behind. Of course, you'll all look so glamorous after your pamper sessions that you won't need it anyway. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget your pass. I'll hand them out in a minute after I'd answered any questions you might have. Here are the correct answers. Pause the video while you check them against your own. Then we'll go through them one at a time and examine the language that makes them correct. Answer 1 is C. Fruit. Here's the sentence answer 1 appears in. I do recommend popping an apple, banana or some grapes in your bag as a healthy snack in case you feel hungry during the afternoon. The keyword recommend has been used here, so this one should have been easy to identify as long as you know that apples, bananas and grapes are all items of fruit. However, if you weren't listening carefully, you might have been fooled by the preceding sentence. You'll be given a light nutritious lunch so you don't need to worry about food. However, I do recommend popping an apple, banana or some grapes in your bag as a healthy snack in case you feel hungry during the afternoon. Did you spot the distractor, however? The first sentence tells you that you don't need to take any food and the information is then changed in the second sentence. Answer two is E, ticket. This answer is a little more tricky to identify as the information is paraphrased. Here it is. Don't forget your pass. The phrase don't forget is a strong recommendation. In fact, taking your pass, a synonym of ticket, is something you must do in order to gain entry to the spa. Finally, we have answer three, which is H, swimming costume. Here's the sentence it's included in. As you'll be enjoying a glass of bubbly in the jacuzzi, a bathing suit is a must. Again, a synonym has been used. Swimming costume for bathing suit. Saying that you must take one is another strong recommendation. Now, let's look at the answers that are not correct to see what language has been used that might have caught you out. Here's a transcript of the recording. I've put the phrases or sentences containing these words in red and highlighted the answer options or synonyms where used. Before we look in detail at some of the language used, pause the video and read the transcript. Can you identify the words and phrases that tell us that these items are not required or recommended? When you've done that, restart the video and we'll continue on this slide. First, we'll pick out the two synonyms that have been used. Cash and credit cards has been used instead of money and cosmetics instead of makeup. Slippers, towel and watch have not been changed. Now, here are the different words and phrases that have been used to either recommend or not recommend what items to take to the spa. For some, I've added the opposite position in brackets. Both positives and negatives will generally be used to try and catch you out. You won't need to. You're welcome to. It's not advisable. No, something will be required. In this case, no cash or credit cards will be required. Advise clients not to. And I suggest. As you can see, there are many different ways to say the same thing. Another common word that could have been used is should or shouldn't. Now practice using the strategy and tips you've learnt in this lesson on other multiple choice questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.